feeds it backwards and there's the final whistle and what a show Rex and put on in the final quarter of that match a, a sensational conclusion to the game Rex and winning 4-1 and Paul Mullen with his second hat-trick for the club Farnborough well the player with his head in his hands there Dorrington Williams who's really poured his heart out all through the game and he can understand it because 4-1 does not reflect how this game went Farnborough came here and had the better of the first half if anything they showed a great deal of heart 0-0 at half time second half Wrexham seemed to start in the manner of a side that were going to finish the job off Mullen gave Wrexham the lead with an ugly close range header but Farnborough fought back and got the equaliser an excellent free kick ripped over the wall Howard getting his hands to it but not able to keep it out properly and in the 52nd minute the penalty to Pendlebury had equalised Wrexham fought back but I think it was Palmer and Ford coming on midway through the second half that really turned things around soon afterwards Elliot Lee with 11 minutes left only 11 minutes left there's an absolute screamer in the top corner and the roof fell in on Farnborough two minutes later Mullen scoring after a great breakaway McFadgen popping it across to him and then in the closing moments Mullen completing his hat-trick Palmer brilliant hold-up play sweeping it in towards the edge of the area and McFadgen cushioned it back and Mullen lashed in a brilliant scissors volley and gentlemen that was fun yeah it was the last 19 minutes but at 71 minutes I stopped and I said oh what Mm. this is going to be tight in my mind and then all of a sudden we just you know, ease past them it was a, a hell of an effort by Farnborough wasn't it oh, Neil though I mean oh, they really yeah, battled def definitely so mm. we've, we discussed it before the game we were not, this wasn't going to be a, a walk over <laughs> um, they, were, they were up for a it's a cup tie at the end of the day they're only one division below us mm. they're not that many places there's not a lot of difference between but our quality showed in the second half mm. um and the quality that we brought on the pitch um, yeah it was tough at times yet yeah. Howard kept us in the game with a, a great save um, and then at the end but that wouldn't have made a difference to the game but you know when when Palmer and Ford came on we, we changed all our whole demeanor changed you know as you said as you saying about McFadden he seemed to be a lot more confident then with Palmer on and, and Ford I don't why we don't know but they, they look so much the such more quality in the team when, when Palmer and, and Ford came on and it showed in the last 15 minutes scoring three goals yeah exactly I mean um, Dolby had a decent game up front but Palmer the moment he came on just started really imposing himself on the centre backs the ball as you said Andy were, was sticking to him yeah. and they were bouncing off him and I mentioned at the end of the game Robinson who'd been had a good game at centre back was just getting shoved around by Palmer he was a monster yeah, yeah. well Palmer is very difficult to move isn't he you, yeah. I think Maybe Dolby's a bit more lightweight than Palmer, but uh, yeah. Palmer's used to playing to these kind of teams week in, week out, and, he, mm. and he's grown as the season's gone on. He's got a lot more confident in himself, holding the ball up, mm. and, and scored some great goals as well. So, but, and Dolby, you know, he hasn't had the match, you know, the match time has he as well. So I guess his confidence is not as high as Palmer's. But yeah, bringing those two subs on the end was it, mm. you know, made the made the difference between the four-one win and, and one all. Yeah. I mean, I thought Dolby did all right. Actually, I think he played fairly well. And he went very close to the at 0-0 in the first half. The turn and shot that went just wide. Uh -huh. We're not calling him out, but it's just that Palmer is a beast, isn't he? And, and really, a step really above. does the job. Yeah. So, yeah, he's a, he was a class act. He's a, they, did you think as well, I mean, Howard as well, in terms of how he... Uh, how, how the, the saves that he made was, uh, you know, th th that tip over from Saeed when it was 2-1 was a brilliant tip over he did a cracking job of that mm. and then that save at the end maybe wasn't so relevant Loco close range header scooping and scooping it out when it, it looked like it was over the line but especially that save by, from Saeed was massive yeah the massive. Saeed save was massive because that would have been 2-1 to them and I think mm. Brexham would have backed it but I think the same would have happened that happened to Farnborough when Lee scored Farnborough's heads just went down and I think that that was it they knew the game was up then yeah yeah exactly man of the match you got a tricky one here haven't you because yeah. Mullen had a very quiet first half it but is, scored a hat-trick yeah, yeah but Lee consistency through the whole 90 minutes I would say Lee yeah, yeah. in the shift yes he got the yellow card when he when they scored and he didn't make need to make that talent uh, challenge sorry 
Um, so for me, it would be Lee. I think I'd go for Lee. I, I was tempted to name Howard for that save because I think that turned the game. Mm. But I was disappointed for, with Howard on the free kick. Yeah. But uh, Mullen, well, you score th- three goals. You, you know, you're always going to be in with a chance. But I think I'll settle for Lee. Yeah, me too. There's part of me says when a bloke scores a hat trick, he's man of the match, yeah. <laughs> and we won by three goals. Mullen's three goals. Mm. But Lee was excellent throughout, did ever so well. Mullen, I mean, yeah, his finishing was superb. I mean, this shows the quality of the player. You're bringing a player like him, and then when, it, when, you, when the chips are down, he'll just turn up and, and start finishing. Mm. But Lee, I thought, scored the decisive goal, mm. and throughout the match, I mean, was and really ooh. working hard and looking to prompt. So, yeah, I think it's a, a unanimous Lee. Uh, it was a superb goal that he scored as well. I mean, it wasn't oh. a close range run. He was on yeah. the, the in, just inside the 18 yard box. So, yeah, yeah. great, great, great goal. Mm. And, and of course, most importantly, in the hot plate half time taste test, Wales won 3 0. Wales, Wales won 3 0 in the pork pie challenge. So, uh, and as you know, the pork pie never lie. Mm. So, just like Paul the Octopus, we have got a guaranteed 3 0 win for Wales <laughs> on Tuesday. <laughs> and when we can you know, deliver that it, as well as a place. Wouldn't it be spooky if that really happened, guys? <laughs> I'm expecting it now. Okay. I, I'm absolutely expecting that to happen. Well, I'd be astounded with it. Mm. So. Nice stuff. Wrexham go through to the third round. Let's see who we can draw. Yep. When is the draw on Monday, I'm assuming? Monday evening, is, normally yeah. 7 o'clock. Mm. <laughs> well, I hope it is, because you've just given this precise time as well now. Well, it normally is on the 7 o'clock on the Monday <laughs> evening, isn't it? But, um, but that was a very precise piece of speculation, Neil. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm assuming then. Sorry, I'm yeah. assuming, guys. It's 7 o'clock Monday evening, and we could be up against one of the big guys. Mm. Hosted by Mark Chapman, Jermaine Genus, and Gary Barlow. Yeah, yeah and yeah. bring them to the race course. Yeah. Mark, take City that. Here. <laughs> no, not take that. Sorry, yeah. no. If you are planning a comeback tour, lads, mm. the race course is available at a reasonable rate. I'm sure we can get down, set it down at the table and sort it out. Do you feel maybe this has gone as far as it ought to now, yes. as I'm now trying to broker a deal with uh, Gary Barlow's agents? Yeah, yeah I think so it's well. time to stop now. Yeah, exactly. That was fun. Rex and Fuse in the next round. Farnborough showed quality and heart. But ultimately, Wrexham showed class with the final score of Wrexham 4, Paul Mullen 3, Farnborough 1. We've been Mark Griffiths, Andy Parkinson and Neil Williams from Wrexham AFC.